Hello everybody, based on your feedback I give you some scoop of Admiral Radiators, all I know. It's already landed in States, in Canada we'll have it in a couple weeks and uh, so I try to make it a sort of unboxing for you because I have a example of packaging and I have a sample of radiator which is identical to production unit but I don't have actual final um, packaging components such as screws and there's a gaskets provided so I don't have that so I can show you but at least it gives you some idea so Admirals coming in two flavors right now dual and triple I have a triple here so we'll talk about triples they look identical except of the size this is a box this is a better way so this is a box uh, that the uh, Admirals come in traditional for TFC quite um, flashy type of packaging so it's a lot of details going on multi languages on the back so um, nice box as usual TFC always making quite a nice packaging and the radiator itself is uh, right here so black box much more square type comparing with the traditional dual pass rods uh, there's a few differences also that worthwhile talking about first of all if you remember my very very old videos there was some talks of making this radiator as a modular unit so you can add modules and make uh, from single dual or triple and build them as longer and longer so that idea was ditched so it's a one single unit so if you get triple then no expansion nothing like this so it's, if this is a triple radiator that's it if you get a dual that's double so it's one piece core for three 120 millimeter red, um, fans in this particular situation so what's the major differences first of all unlike of um, dual pass radiators this radiator is serial so all tubes goes one to another one another and it's total about nine meter of water pass well i would expect that as the longer pass of water will yield the significant differences in performance the truth is if you expect any revolutionary performance changes it's not going to happen this radiator was already tested in a professional lab environment i have a report so it's a good deal of money was paid for that and it's temperature control room and stuff like this so it's no point i uh, try to compete with uh, somebody who have a proper lab uh, but basically in a nutshell the result is that um, triple rod performed in a similar performance to traditional um, dual pass radiator of similar size so basically we have uh, the same thing in terms of performance and the only difference is um, for this radiator comparing with old one is in design and some other features that we can discuss right now but in terms of performance again this will be the same as you had before maybe disappointing for some but that it is what it is we'll see if it will be in future anyway so back to my talk about this sequential pass for the tubing this also defines where the ports can be because water coming to the first tube and is coming out of last tube that's why you have a port like this so this is first sorry this first tube and is coming to the last tube right so there's no way to put ports in other places because it's a lower elaborate um, back plate that make all tubes connect together one to another one to another so that's bring us to the fact that when you plan build based on this radiator you have to put fittings on the back of it and the most likely you have some sort of like 90 degree elbow adapter and you know push your tubes down or whatever way you want to up and uh, this means that you need a little bit more space in your a case when you plan it so when you look on the specs and say this radiator so many whatever millimeters think that you probably will need another inch or so for the tubing and fittings just to work it out so don't uh, miscalculate it when you when you do so well the construction of the scenes back to the fins because it's the main difference obviously construction of the fins is stainless steel with aluminum fins on it so there are no aluminum touching any water so no concern here uh, the benefit of going with a new construction is mainly it's foolproof now it's impossible to damage the screws or anything like this um, you can see that um, I can like bang tubes and uh, there's nothing happening to it I tried to bend one for you 
try to hide my face so it's getting focused um, so it's not that easy so bending tubes is possible but it's uh, not as easy task anymore even you go with screws you bend them but it will take substantial effort and also it's not I don't think it's really possible to punch this radiator with screw any longer. If you want to punch a stainless steel tube, you basically need to take a drill and drill through it. So in these terms, the problems with uh, all newbies who take new rod without thinking, put the longest screws possible, make a hole and after that cry on forums that they have a leaking radiator, this is finally gone. So this one is safe, which is good. Another difference like to mention that it has a module construction for the side panels so we have a core and we have this aluminum side panel that fix with those screws on, on each end so you can loosen them up that's why it's shaky right now because i already did losing part and you can remove the the side panel why it's good is because if you actually real motor and you want to create your certain certain color and put a um film on it or paint it, it's much easier to work with a separate piece than tape, radiator fins and you know all this doubles prep work before you can do actual painting. So it's much easier to work with this one. It also allows you to change uh, stock covers. TFC making three versions right now, black, which probably will be everybody wanting, but also it's blue and red. I don't have a red, but I have a blue side panel. And so you can basically get your upgrade and later if you want blue, you can get blue. So that's how blue rod will be looking. It also will have a blue parts here, but I don't think it's that important because normally you look on the radiator on your side, not from this point of view. So you wouldn't even see if you have a black or blue side panels in this way. So that's something you can buy and just change. Or if you want something on your own, you remove panel, do it whatever you want you do it with this in terms of painting put it back and you have a really unique type of setup so back to black version so another difference again have to go back to tubes again because it's the main thing here is the fact that another nuisance going into history with these radiators those when they produce they are lasered by automatic machine and after that they get cleaned in ultrasound bus. So there are no junk whatsoever inside of those tubes. Not only you don't need any flux to produce this, unlike of copper rods, as they also clean them. So basically it means that you can make really light um, flash with distilled water and just install it. So no more voodoo magic when you need to fill your rod with hot water, run through it or fill it with, I don't know, whatever, and vinegar and shake hell out of your radiator. So no, that's gone, which is good news. So that's how things looks. In terms of performance, if you want to see my own results, I actually did some little benching on dual version about a year and a half ago. I put link uh, downstairs here in, in, in my description so if you want to look those results you can check it out i actually had not bad a result with, with cooling cpu and two gpus with dual version but i have a really potent sun ace fans and everything so my setup was pretty good in terms of air power that's coming through the radiator well that's all i have at this point i hope you get you some idea of what you're getting into it it's very nice new piece slightly different from what we had before i definitely use doll version in my upcoming s3 case uh, which is custom painted uh, hopefully uh, it will fit without any issues and uh, well guys when you start getting those in your builds share your thoughts it's always interesting to see some feedback but definitely something new for a change see you soon i'll have a couple of videos uh, coming this week as well